Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to answer the question, what is tillering in crops? Well, as soon as I hear the word tiller, I think about corn, but certainly there's lots of other crops out there. But with corn, tillers are sometimes called suckers. So you can guess what farmers think about it. What? Why do I need that sucker on the side? It's probably pulling energy away from the rest of my plant. Yeah, and a lot of people will get really emotional about it too. If they're looking at two different hybrids and one has tillers and the other does not, they say, well, I don't want any more of this hybrid because it has all these tillers. Who cares? All we care about at the end of the day is, does it yield? And theoretically, a plant with tillers should yield a little more, although we don't really see that, but it should. Why should it yield more? Well, here's what I like about tillers, especially where we're at. We're dryland farmers, and our area often doesn't get enough rain. Well, if we've got tillers, the plant has already developed those tillers and stored all the energy in there that it can rob later in the season. So tillers, again, theoretically should be a good thing, but we really don't see any yield difference. Now I would say you get to crops like wheat and you could have a lot of tillers out there all producing heads. So it, just like in corn, you could see tillers theoretically producing their own ears if those tillers did extremely well. Well, you absolutely can. And, and I had a chance a number of years ago to go down and visit the world record wheat grower down in New Zealand. He was doing trials looking at new varieties of wheat that he might plant. And one of the things he was looking at is how many tillers will they produce if I just had one plant sitting out here all by itself. And I know there was one plant we looked at that had 30 tillers on it so it could theoretically produce 30 heads and I thought wow that's the variety to pick and he said ah, I don't know 30 might be too many I kind of like about 10 or 12 I can manage that and what's interesting is with wheat if those tillers are popping out later and those heads are way behind in development compared to the main heads on that plant well they could be hit by disease at different times or if, if a farmer was protecting the plant from disease but then more heads came out later, you could still have some more risk out there. So farmers do want to kind of manage this in various crops. So tillers are something we see in many different grass crops. It's basically another plant starting from the base, even though it's got the exact same root system. It could potentially help with yield. A lot of times, like in corn though, we don't see that it makes any difference, positive or negative toward yield. Well, tillers are one thing that farmers might notice out in fields, but another is our Weed of the Week. If you see our Weed of the Week, we want you to stop it. We'll show you how to do that later in the show. <music> <laughs> 